Salah Abdeslam is being held in the Fleury Mérogis prison complex outside Paris. He's the only known surviving suspect in the Paris attacks. He's been placed in isolation under video surveillance, monitored by guards skilled in handling dangerous detainees. His extradition from Belgium to France on April 27th this year was just the beginning of a long and painstaking investigation. A French court has formally charged Abdeslam for murder, attempted murder, hostage taking, and unlawful possession of weapons and explosives. His lawyers are not willing to go on record about the ongoing investigation, but a few core questions are clear. What role did Abdeslam play in Paris and Brussels? What was his responsibility in planning and carrying out the attacks? Abdeslam grew up in the Molenbeek area of Brussels, and many Belgians feel a degree of guilt. It's something they're still coming to terms with. How was he able to hide for so long? How does the state plan to prevent further acts of terrorism? In particular, the opposition are criticising the Liberal government for not taking responsibility for investigative failures. A fact-finding committee has been established to bring clarity. The most urgent is the, the, yeah, the communication and the, the, the sharing of information. I think this is crucial. We have to work on that. That means that people have, may have to invest in people uh, who um, receive information and give information. Suspected terrorists will always be able to find loopholes to slip through, say some politicians. To them, it's in the nature of the Belgian state. In this country, there's always been some distrust of state authority, unlike in France or Germany. The interests of the different cultures here are ripping this land apart. Abdeslam's lawyers, Franck Bertrand and Sven Marie, have planned a strategy for their client. They will claim diminished responsibility. They want to show that their client wasn't smart enough to have planned the attacks, that he was just a follower. Marie, Abdeslam's defence lawyer, said he's as intelligent as an ashtray. It will be months, if not years, before the trial begins.